driving in a class locomotive. This one is number eight, but this one here is the reverser. So if we wanted to go forwards, we push this lever and the whole thing will go forwards. If we wanted to make it go backwards, we grab it and then pull it backwards. I'm not going to do it now because um, I don't want to roll, roll the engine down the platform. This one here is the regulator, which is also known as the throttle, but it doesn't do the same as the throttle. It regulates the amount of steam going into the cylinders. This one here is the rear sander. So it does sand for the rear wheels, which you use it if you're going backwards. This one's the front sander, so sand for the front wheel. That's the noise maker, the whistle. Uh, these are all the manifolds things, so you control stuff like the compressor and uh, the turbo. This one is the train brake. It has various positions. I don't know any off the top of my head yet. I'm still trying to get them down. This one's the independent brake, which is controls the locomotive only, not just the um, not just the, uh, the carriages. So yeah, locomotive brake, locomotive only. This one is carriages as well as the locomotive. Right, over here is the fireman side, so the one that shovels the coal. And his job is to look after what's in here. So there's a whole there's a whole business going on in there. And I'll tell you 10,000 different things, but I won't go over it because it's a bit too detailed. Coal comes out of there from the bunker. Which is so that creates draft in the, uh, in the smoke box, which stops smoke coming out of the box into the actual cab itself. This one here is the steam for the injector. And this is the water for the injector. So if I wanted to turn it on, I'd do the red one first. Then I'd turn that, and the injector would hopefully catch. Sometimes it doesn't. If I want to turn it off, you do this one first, go that way, and then you pull this one back into the off position. And then these are the dampers and the ash arresters. So that's the rear damper, which is just under the firebox here. That's the front damper, which is on the other side of the ash pan. This one's the rear ash arrester. And then the front ash arrester is this one just here. Which you can't really see from here. This one's the handbrake as well. Which is what you use if the engine is parked or if there's no air. You can use it to stop the train. But generally you wouldn't. And then last but not least, which is probably the most important thing, is these two here, which are the glass gauges. That tells you how much water is in the boiler. At the moment, there's about oh, two to two and a half. It's a bit, bit more at the moment because we're on an angle here at Lakeside. Other than that, that's the basics of it.